What up, Nikki Fitness Squad? Thank you for tuning in to another video with your girl, Nikki Fitness. What are you waiting for? Cue the intro. guys so um as you can see i'm sitting in my car again i'm about to get some instacart done um this video is going to be a video that you've seen done from plenty youtubers it's going to be eating fast food for 24 hours yes that's right i'm going to be eating mcdonald's i'm going to be in taco bell uh all kinds of fast food the only twist that i'm putting on this guys is that i'm going to try to make all the fast food fit into my caloric deficit for the day no, this is not a cheat day. I'm gonna make sure all the fast food fits into my calories. I'm gonna try to make sure it doesn't make me go over in my fats. I'm gonna try to make sure I hit my protein goal. And yeah, guys, so stay tuned. Uh, 24 hour fast food challenge with the twist. Y'all, I spent 20 minutes trying to get this thing how I wanted it. And it still ain't right. Double chin up. I'm finna go to McDonald's. I just dropped off my first Instacart batch. Um, like I said, if y'all don't know what Instacart is, I have several videos on it. So just watch those videos. Better yet, it's a jet. Serving breakfast. I get two egg McMuffins and a large diet Dr. Pepper. Thank you. I haven't had diet Dr. Pepper in a long time, and there's so many bees over there. Like, why is there so many bees everywhere? Guys, the two egg McMuffins was 918. What the fuck? 918. 918. Do I have a dollar in there? I did this shit for change, but I don't even think. Now, now I don't have the right amount. Not, but the sausage McMuffins that I get usually. Don't tell anybody. They're usually fucking two dollars for two of them. 918? Right, so first meal is McDonald's. We got two egg McMuffins. Um, this is my first meal of the day. It's 1 p.m. currently. Um, the egg McMuffin has Canadian bacon on it, egg and cheese. It's 300 calories each, 17 uh, grams of 17 grams of protein, and 12 grams of fat. So this is gonna be our first meal for the day. It's about 600 calories altogether. Let's see how it's tasting. This is a lot more calorie friendly than what I usually get, which is the sausage McMuffin. Hi, how are you? Good, and yourself? I'm doing good, thank you. Order whenever you're ready. Um. Can I get three five-layer burritos? Hey, you're supposed to eat healthy. Three five-layer? You know what? Um, scratch that. Actually, can I get... Could I get a number one, but instead of beef, can you make it chicken? Oh, you're like, where you at? <laughs> Maybe. I told you. Look at her. Does oh. it look like she sees <laughs> she it? She does look like she sees it. Taco Bell is the second meal. It's about 150 calories per taco. I got 
three crunchy tacos with chicken instead of beef. If you guys are on the go, you should definitely try it. I also have some Diet Mountain Dew. I think Taco Bell is the only one who actually carries Diet Mountain Dew, but I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Charles has a woman body. He has broad shoulders. They're tall. Their voice is deep. <laughs> I don't know what you told somebody to say. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I got for today is Panda Express. Um, as you can see, we got some teriyaki chicken and broccoli. I'm gonna uh, pop up the calories right here on the side or right here or right here. Just look for it. I'm gonna pop up the calories, protein, everything. Um, but yeah, guys, it's currently, I think, 8 p.m. if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna go ahead and pour all the teriyaki sauce on top of it. But yeah, guys, this is my last meal. So far, it's been fitting perfectly into my calorie intake for the day. I'm still in a calorie deficit. And I even have enough sugar and calories left for the day to have a little snack. Um, it wouldn't be considered a healthy snack, but it fits into my calories just perfectly, so I should be fine. All right, guys, look at that. Woo, I'm gonna dive in. All right, I got my snack right here. <gasps> no, not real ice cream. I know what you guys are thinking, but I'm only having one serving size and it fits perfectly into my macros and calories in, calories out. Um, I'm still in a caloric deficit. So I'm gonna measure out one serving size. So I'm gonna get it to grams. All right. And they say one serving size is 81 grams so i'm gonna go ahead and measure out 81 grams right, guys so we got 81 grams even that looks freaking delicious right now um one serving size is 170 calories 18 grams of sugar six grams of fat i'm gonna devour this then i'm gonna come back with the macros for the day and the calories for today this is gonna be gone in three two all right, guys, if you made it this far, this is the end of the video. As promised, I'm going to bloop up the calories, protein, fat, and carbs for the day. As far as calories goes, I took in 1,609 calories. That puts me in quite a bit of a deficit, so that's perfect. Let me look at the macros. So protein, guys, I took in 110 grams of protein, carbs, 138 fiber 15 i don't know if you guys track fiber um sugar i only took in 19 grams of sugar which is great for me because i usually do a lot more uh, my sugar intake for the day is um they wanted to stay around 75 grams so 19 grams is way below what my fitness pal says that i should be at which is great fat only 63 grams i'm supposed to only have 67 grams of fat a day according to my fitness pal. So guys, I think I did a great job, uh, but I do wanna do one thing before I let you guys go. Ethan, I'm calling you out, man. If you're watching this video, I want you to eat only fast food for 24 hours and try to make it fit into your caloric deficit and make it fit into your macros. So I'm calling you out, man, 72 hours to respond. So if you, you think you can uh, stay in your caloric deficit, or I don't know, you might be in a caloric surplus, but I want you to do fast food for 24 hours and try to keep it within your macros. I'm out, guys. Subscribe.